Mary, we are leaving Trumpelo County. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How's it going? Nancy's talking, and she doesn't even know where we are right I now. Know. We are leaving Trumpelo County, and we are going to Buffalo County. We, see, we got a couple different cameras, and we're running away. We're leaving the county. And, and what time of year is this, Mary? What? This is the Halloween month. Yeah, this is like late October. Late October, super late October. And two years previous to this, what have we done on Halloween? Well, we have gone on grand adventures and I think you all know that we have been looking for Lavender Lily. That's right. Um, I apologize, both Nancy and I have gotten dripped on today, so, <laughs> yes. you know, a hair and makeup blew us off once again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, we've had snow, we've had grapple, we've had sleet, and we've had wind and sunshine. And today we've had um, uh, just rain and then stop and rain and stop and blow, and so it's been exciting. And then pour. Yeah. But, you know, we've been hearing more and more comments from our wonderful viewing public about us attempting to find Lavender Lily. Yes. And through the process, I think we may have been looking completely in, in the wrong place. Well, we failed for two years in a row with the yes. finder, right? Yes. We have not seen her. And then I had... Um, a gentleman that works at the courthouse, Robbie, that told me that we were looking in the wrong place. We were way off base. Yes, and we should have been up here at Norden Church, which is what we're coming up to here. And this is, uh, well, I think actually the right side of the road is Buffalo County. And I think the left side is Trumpelo. Yes, exactly, yes. exactly. And this is a beautiful little rural church. Yes, we'll just stop here for a minute and you can see that this is a beautiful little church, isn't it? It is fantastic. And, you know, the big question, and we'll have to take a look around, but the big question is, is this the place where we're going to find Lavender Lily. Because we sure didn't find her over there on Montana Ridge the last two years. No, and we checked on Tyson Ridge and Montana Ridge. Yep, yep. And um, even had our historian, um, Keith Edison, who's working on the Cogsburg Cemetery. Yep. Uh, we've, we've pretty much talked to everyone that we possibly could about our search for Miss Lavender Lily. And uh, it's, it's at a point, take that and point that over there. It's at a point where I think we're gonna take one last look for yeah. Lavender Lily. Yeah, we're not quitters, are we? Absolutely not, <laughs> absolutely not. As we're passing the camera around here and uh, we hope that you're gonna enjoy our adventure as we as we pick through Norden Cemetery looking for Miss Lavender Lily. Um, we'll see if we can find anything here. And if not, you know, maybe we'll take a swing. We'll take a swing back up the ridge. Yes, because uh, I, I didn't get specifics on exactly where you know, Lavender Lily was supposedly hanging out here, but um, We'll give it a, a go anyway, so... We'll give it a go. We'll get out and we'll just look in this cemetery for a little bit. And we'll take a walk around and see what we can we'll find. See what we can find. Okay. I, I did try to do a little uh, research on this northern church area. Okay. And it is your typical rural uh, Norwegian Lutheran church. And I think it was started back in the 1870s, and the congregation was mainly Norwegians. So if Lily was attached to this church, she must have been a, a Norwegian, <laughs> which we haven't heard of before. So let's just take a little look here and see. And uh, I don't see anybody here wearing purple, do you? No. Or lavender? No. I I'm... guess I've got my purple oh, on. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. we got to show that. But that's more of a purple. That's purple, it's not lavender. That's more of a purple. And if you haven't watched our shows before, 
we're going to do a, a brief recap on who Lavender Lily is, if you haven't heard about her. And she would have to be our most famous Buffalo, Trumplo County ghost. And the story is, and we don't have a timeline. We don't know when this was supposedly happened. It could have happened in 1950 or it could have happened in 1870. We don't know. The story was on Halloween night, two young boys were going down the road and we don't really know where. And we don't know, were they in a car? Were they in a buggy? We don't know. But they came across this young, beautiful young girl wearing a lavender dress, walking along the side of the road. And it was a chilly night and she didn't have a coat. And they stopped and asked her if she wanted a ride home. And she said, yes, please, will you take me home? And so the one boy gave her his jacket because it was chilly and he was a gentleman. And so they took the girl to a, a farm and, and let her go and then they drove off. Well, they got down the road a couple miles and they suddenly realized, oh no, we left our coat with this girl. So they turned around and came back to the farmhouse and they went and knocked at the door and they said, you know, we just dropped your, your daughter off here. We, we brought her home, but we forgot to get our jacket. And the couple, the farm couple that opened the door said, oh, this is terrible. How can you do this to us? It was a year ago today that our daughter was killed. And this is, this is, you know, you're being very cruel. So they just left without the coat. They just got and left. Well, as they got down the road, they were going past a cemetery. And the story was that it was the Tyson Ridge Cemetery or the Montana Ridge Cemetery, but maybe it was the Norton Cemetery. But as they drove past it, they saw their jacket and it was hung up on a tombstone. Oh boy. Yes. And so that's kind of the story of Lavender Lily. And there's all kinds of variations. Supposedly she was wearing lavender. Somebody said she was wearing a lavender prom dress. Oh. Yeah. But which, prom is usually a spring thing, isn't it? I, yeah. So, <laughs> who knows? That's the story, folks. That's the story. But we haven't had any, uh, any reason to believe that it wasn't down here at Nord. It, it certainly could be. Well, we do have so many holes in the story. Yeah, we do. In slight variations of, you know, they were driving a truck. No, they were driving a car. No, yeah. it was a horse and buggy. Yeah, no, we don't know. <laughs> there was just so many, so many variations that, you know, it's been challenging for us um, to really pin down where exactly if this took place. If and when. If and when. But it's also important to remember that Lavender Lily's story is not even necessarily isolated to Buffalo and Trumplo counties. No, this story as they say, has legs because it has popped up in other places as far away as Chicago. And I uh, told a friend of mine that lives out on the East Coast about it, and they asked around, and, and, but they had not heard a version of this story. So maybe it didn't get that far. Oh, okay. But, uh, it's hard telling, but now as you notice, most of the names here are Norwegian. A lot of Thompsons. Yeah. A Jens and a Marguerite, but so far we haven't seen any any uh, lilies. No, and then of course was Lily her first name? This is an Ernest. Mm -hmm. Gina Ernest. And here's Gunhild Olsen. You know, we just don't know the time stamps. No. And it's very confusing, and we've been racking our brains, <coughs> combing through the cemeteries. Well, here's an old one. This is Olus. Kajabstead? Kajorstead? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. This is an old one, 1862. Oh, yeah, here it is. It looks like Jorstead with a K. Jorstead father. 
Uli. Yeah, but I don't see any lilies. No, but I do think it's worth a while, worthwhile for us to maybe do some more driving and looking and, you know, we picked a chilly day to be out here and I don't think we're going to come up with anything at, at Norton here. But now as we're, you can we're, see, it's a beautiful spot. It's a beautiful yeah. cemetery and we are in the older part of it. Yeah, um, look at this tree. Now this is not something that got planted five years ago. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. That is one big tree. Yes, it is. And so, you know, we'll keep looking. Yeah, it's, but so far today, we do not see anybody else in this cemetery, and particularly anybody wearing a uh, purple or lavender dress. No, not at all. Beautiful stones, but we don't know what's been lost to the hands of time and history. So. Let's get back in the car and let's go down um, Norden Ridge. And we'll see what we can and see. see if we see anybody <laughs> wearing a purple dress or a purple prom dress walking down the road. Here's an old one. Oh, very old. 1876. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this looks 1878. like 1878. Children. Children. Two year old. They may have died in that same diphtheria. That took out all the took kids. Out, yeah. Took out all the kids up at uh, Kongsberg. Kongsberg Cemetery. Was her name Lillian? Or another L the variation. 1909. And this particular cemetery has a lot of flat stones. Yeah, it does. So it may be more challenging. You may have to... And the trouble is with those flat stones, it's they do sink. <laughs> right. And then they're lost to time yep. because Earth takes them over. And these are unreal, huh? Yeah, here's Hilma, but I'm just not seeing any lilies. Hilma was five. Hilma Janora Johnson. 1903 to 1908. Oh, there's an Ella, but she was a wife. Yeah. It isn't that nice. They've even got the picture of her on Oh, there. she's a beautiful gal. Yeah. I like that when they have the picture. But no lilies. But no lilies. All right, let's mount up, Mary. Let's move on down the road. Sounds like a plan. So down the road we go. Yeehaw! Yeah, we're going to be heading uh, south on Y, and uh, and then we'll be on Norton Ridge Road, and we're going to keep an eye out for lavender lily. Sounds like a plan. Now, Mary, I I did do a lot of uh, research last year, and I was trying to find people that lived up in this area of Buffalo County, like in the town of Dover and Naples and then Montana, um, that had the name Lily. I was looking for the name Lily. And I was going through all these old census, censuses, <laughs> whatever the plural is. Say that word five times fast. Yes. And going back like into the 1900s and before, and I only found, I think it was three lilies. And uh, one was a, a lily, Rudy, 
and I think she died in 1910, but she was only three years old, so oh. that didn't really fit the perspective. No, nope, she's not going to be able to get out of the house at three years old for, no, a, not, for an no. event in riding with boys. I don't think so. And then there was another Lily, that Lily Grable, but she was a hired girl for the Herman Heller family. And she was just on there once and then gone, it's on the sense that so it must have been, you know, a brief <laughs> employment. And then another Lily, uh, her name was Lily Christ, and she married a man from Arcadia by the name of Ben Tickfer. Now something did happen to her uh, that was tragic. She had a son, Morris, and he went off to World War II he was captured and was sent to a German POW camp, and he died in that POW camp. Oh boy. So that was very sad, yes. But she lived, uh, Lily Tickfer lived on until I think 1980 or something. She had quite a long life, so I don't really think that she was our Lavender Lily either. Were you able to find anybody with the surname of Lily? No. No, I didn't find anybody by the with the last name of Lily. Well, that is just crazy. Yeah. That is just crazy. Yeah. But you know, this is Buffalo and Trumplo County, and we are kind of a unique and special place. Oh yeah, we are. We're, we're very unique, I'd say. We're very special. And uh, we're trying to find, we're trying to find her, and we just haven't been successful yet. No. Nope. No, but you know, this is a beautiful time of year to be out driving, isn't it? Yes. The colors are really bright this year in 2022. They are just really putting on a show. And we've had the weather for it. Yeah. Now, are you keeping an eye peeled for Miss Lily? I am. I am looking. And you never know what you're going to see. Yep. And this is Norton Ridge Road. And it's running south. And now, what have we got up here? Are they turkeys or chickens? Or? Chickens. And I have to tell you, I did this grazing plan over oh, here. Were they grazing chickens? No, mm -hmm. goats. These guys have goats, but back behind us, they have beef. Okay. I did. There was two back-to-back -back plans that I did. Oh, look at the goaties. Hey, girls. And some chickies. We could ask them if they've seen anybody walking in a lavender dress. Those are turkeys. Yeah. It's been a while since I've been in this neighborhood. Well, I suppose this is not really a main drive, is it? No, it's not. Go in here. Some nice little spots. Yeah. Now, you remember last year when we were up on the ridge, we thought there was some connection between Lavender Lily and the Schneider family that lived up there. Right. And uh, also when you got out at that cemetery, the old uh, Catholic cemetery, and looked around, the first tombstone you went to, quite by chance, had the name on it of Schneider. Yes. So we wondered if there wasn't some connection. Oh, oh, Mary, look up there. Talk about Lavender. Maybe that's where she lived. We found a lavender house. Look at that. With a scary bat in the window. I know it. Maybe that's where she lived. It could be. <laughs> Maybe we have been looking in the wrong place. It could very well be. And we found it, the lavender oh. house. I don't think that's her house. <laughs> it's got pretty new windows in it, Nancy. <laughs> okay. And it looked more like a cabin. Yeah, but you know how stories get twisted around. Maybe Lavender Lily wasn't wearing lavender. Maybe it was the color of the house she was living and in. And maybe we've got the wrong name altogether. Right. <laughs> maybe her name was Joan Fredrickson or something. <laughs> or Edith, you know, Franson or Kaminsky. Or... Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, it's, <laughs> we can only do the best that we can do. We've we, got all kinds of variables in this story and, and not a lot of stuff to go on either. No, and it doesn't help any with your immense genealogy 
doing letting your fingers doing the walk in there uh, we have not it's been a hard struggle to find definitive information outside of it being just a rumor and a story right it's a story and the thing about stories or legends is that they usually have some basis in fact somewhere right and trying to track this down you know trying to find I then I was looking for accidents you know car accidents where people were hurt or killed and I couldn't find anybody <laughs> in this Norton or Montana Tyson area that would fit that no that would fit that bill no that did not fit that profile just found nothing I mean these are back roads sometimes people get going too fast and yes sometimes there have been some some bad accidents yep. but I couldn't find anything that had a lily attached to it oh look at this mailbox here they've got a windmill oh a cute little one yeah look at that yeah all right here we're going up the ridge we're climbing now folks here we go Keeping an eye out for Lily, and we're just not seeing her. Now, I'm just trying to figure out why they say that, now people say that Lily is actually associated with Norton in this community and haven't found out anything. Unless, unless we, we do find her going down the road, we'll have to pin her down and ask her, what's the story, Lily? Well, <laughs> you know, maybe we should get a hold of one of those... Uh, what do they call those? Psychics. Oh, look, here's a quarry, isn't look it? Look at that. Now, I hate to tell you, but when I was in high school, it was a place like this where kids came at night to socialize. Party. Party. <laughs> yes. Yep. And so we don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe Lily was walking home from a party like this. Maybe she was up here at this very rock That's quarry. That's right. She may have been right up there at that quarry. We just may never know. And that little piece of information has just gotten left out of the stories. Now I have uh, talked to uh, Pastor uh, Kermit Solem, who comes over to our church once a month. Uh, and helps us out. He lives up here, and I asked him if he had ever seen a young girl walking down the road <laughs> wearing lavender, and he said no. Well, you know, a man of the cloth is yeah. not going to lie. That's right. But it would be, you know, fun if somebody called in with a definitive lead for us. Yeah. But like we say, this story has gotten around to Yes, and it's not just a Wisconsin Buffalo no, Tremblow story. I don't think so. There seem to be versions of it in all kinds of different places. Always with a little bit of a twist. Right. Always in a lavender dress. And so, you know, with Halloween headed our way, maybe we need to look for her on Halloween night. Maybe that's where we're going wrong. Well, we're, we're giving it our best go, aren't we? Our best shot here. That's right. And we're getting to see some beautiful scenery. Oh, it's beautiful out here, isn't it? Yes. Even if we're not seeing anybody walking in a lavender dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. And then there was also the story last year about a house farmhouse up there yes on the on uh, Tyson not, Ridge yep not too far not too far from the cemetery and supposedly that was the house where the boys brought Lily home to okay and some mysterious things happened to that house they said that uh, uh, it, there wasn't anybody living in there and it caught on fire and the fire department came out and, and put the fire out and, but they discovered on the walls in the house that there was some strange drawings, like they were done in blood or something, or they were satanic. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, the house didn't burn down that time. But it wasn't too long after that when it did burn down, and uh, the farmer that owned it, this Mike Shishik, he said let it burn, and so it did, and it's not up there anymore. Well, maybe the house was haunted. 
Yeah, and maybe she did live there. I always think the key point maybe is the fact that Lily wanted a ride home. She wanted to go home. And uh, doesn't that sound like a natural thing for yeah. somebody? A wandering spirit, they're trying to get home again. Yes, most definitely. Yeah. It's just that we haven't been able to find her yet. And we're looking, folks, we're looking. I'm driving, what, 18 miles an hour here. I'm not tearing up the road. Oh, look at that. 17, cruising speed. Yep. And this Norton Ridge Road, it's a nice, quiet road. Yes, there aren't a lot of semis on it. Um, doesn't seem to be a lot of traffic. Kind of a nice place to take a quiet Sunday drive and yep. look for Lavender Lily. Yep. And you never know, she might be just around this next bend. Exactly. And you never know what you're going to see. You know, these new fancy mangled cameras that we've got, fancy schmancy, they pick up all kinds of stuff. Yeah, fancy. they've got great definition. And we don't see her hiding behind those uh, hay bales, right? No, I don't see anybody in purple behind there. Maybe a few in brown with, <laughs> you know, eating the nice green grass. All right, so right up here, Mary, it's going to be the end of Norton Ridge Road. And I think that we, uh, once again, at least up here by Norton, that we have been utter failures. We've been stumped. <laughs> we have not seen Lily. So, uh, let's see, what will we do? I think that we will probably uh, make a return trip over there to Tyson and Montana Ridge. So we'll give it another shot. We will give it one more shot because... Boy, we are diehard. We are not quitters, are we? We are not quitters. No, no. And we are going to... We're going to stop at the stop sign here and we will pick up again when we get closer. We south. And we get closer to... Um, the ridges, the high ridges. There we go. Yeah, right here, right this here is County Z, as in zebra. And I think this was the old schoolhouse here. Oh, yes, yeah, so it looks like a little school. Remodeled. Over Nancy's shoulder. And we have another sign here, up here. Let's take a, so people know where we are. They can follow our path. See? There's a little schoolhouse. And we are... This is where the road names change. We are back in Trampolo County and the town of Chimney Rock. On Z. Yep. trying to get set up here to go when she's turning cameras on and we're not ready. Uh, hi. No. Now we are. We're ready. Mary. We are ready. And we, where are we now, Mary? We are up um, on Tyson Ridge. Uh, I think no. Montana. Montana Ridge. Which becomes Tyson Ridge. Yes. yes. It's just a, a small matter there what yeah, well <laughs> what it could we be are. tyson ridge coming in or backwards or we, we'll we'll figure it out yeah. we promise and this is where the, the pat you know previous two years is where we looked for lily yes and yes. so we said we didn't see her over by norden so we are going to try it once more today yes right? we're, we're going to give it the old go this is going to be our last look for lilies on the history files. files so we are going to go up the road here and we're going to go to the little um, Lutheran Methodist Cemetery up on Montana Ridge and I actually did a little research and found there used to be a church there and uh, it said that one of the 
people that was responsible for, you know, getting the church started there was a man by the name of John Harms. Okay. And uh, then at some time, the church was taken down. There's, there's nothing left there anymore except the cemetery. But it's a really nice little cemetery. Yes, yes. And since the airing, and we don't know if this is cause and effect or incidental, um, there's been a new sign erected. Yeah. And a very nice sign. It's a neat and tidy cemetery, very well kept. It is. And uh, we hope you enjoy our last look for, for la Lily. Lavender Lily. For Lavender Lily, and I think it's right here, isn't it, Mary? I think so. And yes, we're trying. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are we at are. the cemetery. And we're turning in right now. Okay. This is the Montana Cemetery. It's uh, maintained by the Lutheran Church in Arcadia. And once more, we really don't see anybody walking around here. It looks like Lavender Lily, do we? No. Do we want to hop out and take a look? Well, we can do that. For just a moment or two to sure. see what we could potentially see. Why not? And I'm going to get Nancy getting out of the vehicle there. So, And, uh, yeah, this is kind of incredible. It's such a pretty little church. and Or no, church. There's no church here anymore. It's a pretty little cemetery. <laughs> Wow, it is such a quaint, it is such a quaint little cemetery. Yeah, it's a beautiful spot, way up here on the ridge, and uh, it's just beautiful. A very quiet spot. You know, and as a final resting place, Nancy, I really think, you know, I wouldn't mind being up on this beautiful ridge. No, this is nice. And, uh, and just taking an opportunity to see the fantastic view. I'm gonna bring the camera up here. This would be a beautiful place to be at peace. Wouldn't it, Nancy? It would, it would. And it's, um, yeah. But there is some, supposedly, some association with Lavender Lily. Now, most of the people that lived up here, and particularly that are buried here, were uh, Germans. And it started out, they had a German Methodist church, and then at some time it became a Lutheran church. So, but this is where the German Protestants were, or are. <laughs> but we don't see anything that looks like Lily. No, we don't. No. So no, I we don't. Think we will, what we will do is we will go down the ridge to the cemetery where a lot of people associate associate the other cemetery, the Catholic cemetery, with, with Lily. For I don't know what reason, but they do. Oh, Nancy, look at the beautiful sun. It's a Isn't beautiful day, and everybody's out in their combines, and they are harvesting. I said, if you're, if you're just stand still and be quiet for a minute, you can probably hear the sound of a hundred combines. That's right. <laughs> and we're going to get ready to go. Okay. Let's get in and let's uh, proceed on down the ridge. That sounds like a plan. Go. Okay, so I think we have pretty much struck out here at the German Protestant Cemetery. I would agree with that, Nancy. Go. Close, close, but no, no cigar for us this time around. So we're going to go farther down the ridge here. 
and we're going to go from Montana Ridge to Tyson Ridge. We're not really sure where one ends and the other, you know, starts. But that is true. Yeah. And it's all about a tricky sign change. Yep. If you're paying attention. But you may already know where you're going. And so you don't even have to pay attention. <laughs> and we found out when I was doing some research on the on the internet that this ridge up here is supposedly the highest elevation in Buffalo County. In Buffalo County. In Buffalo County, yep. Well, you sure get a lot of beautiful views. Yeah, you do. Especially when you're looking for a young miss yes. in a dress. And you know, maybe, Nancy, that's the conundrum. Maybe she's not going to show herself to, you know, old ladies driving around. So you think she's only going to show herself to young men driving around? Well, you <laughs> never know. You, you know, if she's still on the hunt for a husband on the other side, you know, she we may... just don't know. She may be a little fussy, and uh, we may never know. We may never know. Oh, you know, we did Lavender Lily Part 1 and Part 2. Right. And we were up here. And we were up here, and we had a lot of additional information coming in from a lot of different places. And we weren't too fruitful, though, were we? No. No, we... What I would like to do is I would like to hear from somebody that actually has seen Lavender Lily. <laughs> and there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of people that uh, can say that they did. In fact, I've never heard anyone say that they saw her, but... But that's the story. That's the story, I know. Especially as we approach Halloween. Yeah, it's that time of year. And see that, you know, maybe we're looking at the wrong time of the year, Nancy. Maybe we should be looking in the spring. Well, the story is always so that it would happen around Halloween. Okay, so, so we're going with Halloween. I think we better stick with that, at least the end of October anyway. <laughs> oh, goodness. But what a beautiful time to take a drive. It's, it's really pretty up here. And I know that your eyes right now are scanning the both sides of the road and... Looking carefully. We're hoping that she doesn't suddenly jump all these pine trees. <laughs> Especially if she's wearing a 12-point hat. No. <laughs> and is in a brown dress That's this right. time around. Yeah, That's you, right. you never know what you're going to find. And, you know, we've got... Everyone has heard us have... A few challenges with the new technologies, uh, the new cameras that we've been working with over a little while, time stamp here, right? Yeah. Oh, and yeah. these cameras are so sensitive, they pick up so many things that you just never know. Yes, these little GoPros, they're small, but like you say, they are extremely sensitive. And sometimes it seems like they pick up footage that you had no idea you were taking it. Right, that you yeah. missed. So it's, it's we're, we're getting real technical here, folks. Every time we go out, we get, we like to think we get a little bit better. <laughs> Maybe not, but we try. We're trying. Try to keep you all on your toes. Yep. So now we're still go. We're getting close to where Montana Ridge becomes Tyson Ridge, and uh, we did find out that there was a church up there where, uh, where the little cemetery is, and it was a, a missionary church of uh, Saint Peter and Paul's in Independence, and at some point. The church did not have enough membership anymore, so they closed it and they tore it down. It was a brick church, but somebody had sent me a message and said that uh, his father had gotten a bunch of the bricks from the church and had made a little shrine in his uh, backyard. So uh, the bricks were reused, apparently. Now right up here, 
where you can either go right down towards Independence and Travis Valley, Travers Valley, whatever, or you can go to the left. And I do believe that that is where Tyson, Tyson Ridge starts. Right. So we are going to go to the little Catholic cemetery here where there was a church at one time, but there is no longer. And we've walked through here before. Yes, we have, a couple of times at least. And I learn something new every time I come into this little cemetery. Like, wow, they now have a little parking area. Yeah. And it is maintained by um, St. Peter's and Paul, at least the oh. diocese, anyway. Um, of the cross diocese, what I've read, anyway. And it looks like some new gravel's been put around their monument. Yeah. It's, you know, you can tell it's not an abandoned cemetery. It's all taken care of. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Now, remember that if you go on the internet, and look up Lavender Lily. They have a picture of this particular um, grave marker with a coat hanging on it. And this was the burial site of Apollonia Fagan, uh, born in 1856 and died in 1883. And I did find her on the internet uh, just a young mother that passed away, uh, sadly, at a young age with children. And eventually, yes, her husband did uh, remarry. But I couldn't find anything about her ever having the name Lily. <laughs> couldn't find any connection at all. So I don't think there's been any recent burials here from what I've been able to find out, but it certainly is very well maintained. And at one time, apparently on the other side of this road, there was a store, like a general store and a school. So there was like, you know, church, store, school, kind of a little, little uh, crossroad up here. There is some fresh purple flowers. Oh, yeah, over here. Yeah. And they may just be plastic, but I think those are new. <clears throat> A lot of 1930s. Twenty-nine, thirty, nineteen, thirteen. A very peaceful place once again to lie and rest. And Mary, um, as I recall from doing this last year, you thought that you saw a jacket hanging on that, uh, that Apollonia Fagan's grave marker. Is that correct? Well, Nancy, I can't be 100% <laughs> certain on that. Um, but I did kind of have a creeping suspicion that something wasn't quite right. And so it, it's one of those things where I'm not going to say if I saw something or, or not. Or not, okay. But it was one of those weird... Little tingly feelings? Weird little <laughs> awkward things that make you go, hmm, and wonder. And then I dreamt about it later on. So you never know. Okay, well, this was, uh, here's some more purple flowers, and this is uh, on the stone for Nicholas Schneider. And, we and I always... think there was Schneiders that eventually left Independence and went to Blair. There was a Doc Schneider. Um, it's, it's a very common German name. Very common. And last year, after we left the cemetery, we went down uh, a back road that's down here about a quarter of a mile that goes way down into the valley. And uh, that is Schneider Road, according to maps, although at the time there was not a, uh, a road sign up there. So the uh, only way we knew it was Schneider Road is because we were going 
down the hill. And according to our GPS maps, that was indeed Schneider Road. These beautiful trees. You know, the oak trees, Nancy, um, here by Mr. Otto Dworczyk. Dworczyk? The oak trees are always just so tremendous. I know we have talked about doing a, a forestry show to talk about how to identify trees in the springtime with the different colored leaves. And we've never really taken the time to do that. Well, we've got all kinds of big plans, don't we, Mary? <laughs> yes, we do. We do the best that we can anyway. That's right. We just do the best that we can. Well, I'm going to walk down this way, Mary, and just take a look at some of these older stones. And then I guess uh, Lily is not going to make an appearance for us. Yeah, this one is so worn, you can't read anything on it. In one of our discussions with Keith, he, he said a lot of these stones came out of Winona. And whether yeah. they were mined or brought in, it would be interesting to find that out. This is Aloysius Felons. Well, Mary, 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 where did she go to? Mary, Mary, <laughs> what's going on out here, Mary? I'm over here, Nancy. Oh, okay, there you are. I was just deep in thought reading this stone. So, you know, it looks like these were young people. One lived a long time without the other. It's amazing. Well, I suppose we can get ready to go, Mary. Okay, okay. You want to take one more? Little walk up here and see what you see. I'll look down the other way. Yeah, we'll take one more scan, one more scan of our horizons. All right, and then we'll have to say, well, we gave it our best shot. Yeah, I think so. I think we did. Mary, what's on the, what's on that? What, Nancy? What's over there on your right? What is that, Mary? <gasps> Mary? Mary? Oh. <laughs> Mary! <laughs> Mary! <laughs> <laughs>